So now we are entering the Old Town area. Sign says Old Town Bluff. And we'll head down this road and head towards the Viewpoint Hotel or what's left of the Viewpoint Hotel. Viewpoint Hotel and the Montserrat Springs Hotel, the two prominent hotels on Montserrat, which have both fallen victim to the volcano. We are now entering the Viewpoint Hotel. So this is the Viewpoint Hotel. As you can see, the flowers, the hedges are still blooming, just coming around, a shot taking in the volcano, just to give you a perspective on, as to where we are relative to that. So these are the cottages, or what's left of them. They're all abandoned now, looking over to Isles Bay, so taking a gentle sweep around as we look at the entrance to the hotel. Let's take a look inside. Reception area. What's left of the pool? What's left of the cottages? So we make our way out of the Viewpoint Hotel and we are going to continue through Alveston and head out of this area. A lot of the properties here, some have been reoccupied, uh, many others were basically abandoned and are still vacant. and as much of the view as I possibly can. And there are some others here.
And we're now heading towards the Old Western Roundabout. We'll do a once around the roundabout to get a sense of location and perspective. Taking a right turn here into an area of woodlands, and this is called Palm Loop. Residential area. Fairly upscale. Originally subdivided for the previous villa tourism industry gradually seems to be on its way back both as a revenue income source for the island as well as a, sort of a statement of confidence in Montserrat and the sustainability of the island Looking at the sign here, this is Government House, where the Governor resides, Governor representing the Queen of England. Previous Government House, on the outskirts of Plymouth, Peeble Street area. Of course, that has also fallen victim to the volcano, not a direct hit from the volcano, but direct in a sense of uh, the uh, ash fall that has rendered that part of the island practically uninhabitable. So all of this previously upscale residential area owned by many expatriates and retirees. Nowadays you find more and more quote unquote local indigenous monservations being able to purchase property and reside in this area. This is the suburbs or one part of the suburbs in Montserrat. Quite nice and impressive properties in this area. A quite attractive flora as well. Montserrat, Montserratians, and beautiful gardens all go together. Fruits, just past the lady there picking some fruits. to a school here. And this is the location of the Roman Catholic School. So now we're heading out of Palm Loop. And we'll go into another part of Koja had Baker Hill. The view that I'd like you to see. And we'll go and if we can we'll get as far as the hotel, one of the two hotels or two tourism properties for accommodation in this area. 
One is called a Grand View, the name speaks for itself. And the other one is a, it's a guest house. Still in the Baker Hill area. And as you can see, this area on this ridge is quite fairly densely populated, a bit of agricultural land here and there, a goatee running across the road in front of us. You see a lot of these now, a lot of on agoutis, also quite a lot of iguanas, because these areas, yes, we had a population, but a lot of the land was given over to small farm, farm holdings. But that land, much of it has had to be taken up for housing purposes because people were evacuated from the southern, central, eastern parts of the island because of the volcano. And a lot of the wildlife, particularly the iguanas and the agoutis and so forth, this is their natural habitat. And uh, you tend to see them out on the roads now a lot more than you did before. I think we can safely say the population of, of these villages, each individual village, on average would have grown by about 30, 45, 50% in some cases. So we are at the location of the Grand View Hotel at the top of Big Hill. I don't know if we can make it out, but there's a plane, you might not be able to see it, that's arriving and, or departing, and way over, straight ahead, if we can make it out, that's the outline of Antigua. So the villages that we're looking at would be, we are Baker Hill, uh, Gerald's, and Drummond's and uh, way over in the distance on the horizon. That is Antigua. Quite a nice view from up here. Quite spectacular. Now, how about that for a view? Uh, we speak of highways and byways. This byway is more of a highway. Sorry about the squeaky brakes.
someone of the British flag right there. So this is where we came in. We're back at Kojahed Central.